Right. But we hate our children. That's why we abort them. The black woman, you know how many abor uh, 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 babies she aborted in 2016? One? You said one baby? You don't want to know, probably. It's it's so many. It's so many. You probably don't want to know. Yes. Why people have more abortions than black people? That's the only reason why they're stopping abortions. Because if you think that actually stopping is black people or the top one, abortion, abortion. All right. So you say white people abort babies more than black people. That's why they're stopping it. That's what you, that's what you think. think. You can't really believe that, sis. I do believe that. You can't really believe that. Don't have a lot of children out of Wilmot. They get pregnant in college or in their career, they're not married. And most of the time they abort. Right. They get married. So that's, sis, how, that's how they're taught. Sis, a lot of them are taught to be married. When you, children, to today, taught sis, when you look at the prison system today, sis, right? when you look at the prison system today, right? Stay with me. All right, when you look at, you say you work in the prison? I said I work in the medical field. Like you, okay, you work in the medical field. All right, that's good. Very good. You work in what city? All over here. Like what? What? Like. 757, okay. All right, so the woman that's coming in and having these babies, right? And that's aborting these babies, right? Are they coming in with their husband? Listen, are they coming in with their husband? The woman, that's, the woman that's aborting these babies, are they coming in with a husband to abort the baby? No, they not. Most of the women are not doing that because they're not married. They live in a lavish promiscuous lifestyle. That's right. You understand? And they're getting pregnant. Right? No, I gotta put it on the woman. You know why? You know why I gotta put it on the woman? Because the woman controls access to the sex. That's right. That's why I gotta put it on the woman. I would put it on the man if he could control that. But that's called rape. Right. You understand? Right. But that's what our right. women are doing today is they opening up their legs to all these niggas that's that right. don't really want to take care of them Jeez. and the baby they making. That's so right. I got to put it on a woman. I got to do that. Bring it you understand? Bring it you okay. control that. I'm trying to... Hold on. I'm trying to... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know how you can be a strong black woman? You understand? By keeping your legs closed. That's, right. that's the power that the Lord gave you. Right. A man can't take that away from you. Right. So yes, I'm going to put it on the woman today because I'm going to empower you to make a difference in your community. That's right. Because that's what right. happens, what happens is a woman, a woman will, will a woman will, will open her legs up, right, to a man, right? And then you know what the man does? Right? What, what what's the man gonna do usually? Whatever he she allows. He gonna do all right. Whatever, whatever. Exact. Say that again, sister. Thank you. We want to change what women are allowing today in our community. All right. Get uh, Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna show you who we are. Get Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy. You right. You right. All right. Let's get that. Get Titus chapter two. That's right. All right. I'm gonna I'm get what you just said. If she had a father to raise her and a mother to raise her the right way, but you know what's wrong with our mothers today? They don't want to submit to a man, right? So they mind hasn't been instructed on how to rear up children the right way. All right. Read what you got. Come on. This is the book of Titus chapter two, verse three. The age woman likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Right. So the age woman. That's your older woman. Right? That's your, that's your woman that's been around for a while. She may have grandchildren, right? Come on. Not false accusers. She shouldn't be a liar. She shouldn't be a false accuser, right? But how many of our grandmamas be lying? Y'all know what I'm talking about? How many of our grandmamas be lying? Come on. Make big mama be lying. You know that. Now tell me a big mama that's not going to lie for her baby. Tell me one. Tell me one big mama that's not going to lie for her baby. All right? No, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm talking about the woman right now because I got all women standing before me. All right? I'm talking about the woman right now. Hold on. Listen good. I agree with you. We, you need a, 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 a woman needs to be in subjection, not to just any nigga. You understand? A woman need not to be in subjection to a nigga at all because a nigga is not going to take care of her. A nigga is not going to teach her the right things. Right? A woman needs to be in subjection to a righteous man that keeps God's commandments. That's who she has to be in subjection to. I agree with you. Sis, sis, I agree with you. Right, sis, I agree with you. Most women out here doing trial and error until they get it right because they never Be patient with me, sister. Be patient. I'm not here to destroy you or anybody else out here. Listen. Yes, she does. She does. But 
Listen, listen, sister. Listen. We have to be able to lead sister, her. Listen to Some me. Some of these men don't know how to you lead. You right. Men. But I, I know, know I know how to lead. To I know how to lead a woman. But not everybody. But you contending with me. And that's the problem with our sisters today. You got men speaking out the Bible right now. You got men bringing our community back to repenting to the Messiah in Christ. And I got a woman going back and forth with a man with a microphone in his hand. That's the problem with our women today. Do you not understand that? This is an example of what our little boys is growing up under in the household. You understand? Our, our little boys are growing up under a woman that cannot bridle their tongues. They got to spew out whatever they think and feel in their mind. And our woman cannot submit to a man. But watch this. First, drop that. We're going to come back. First Corinthians chapter 7, 11 and verse 7. All right? I'm going to show you something. This is what the Bible said. These are my words. All right? These are not my words. Read what you got. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11. No, verse 11 chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 7. The Come book, on. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7. Right. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image. Verse 8. For the man is not of the woman. Did y'all hear that? The Bible says that the man didn't come from the woman. Right? Y'all know that. Did, did, the, did the man come from the, the rib of, of Eve? No. Y'all know that that's not what this Bible says. Come on. But the woman of the man. The woman came from the rib of the man. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Read. Neither was the man created for the woman. The Bible says that the man was not created for the woman. That's right. Read. But the woman. But who? But the woman. The who? The woman. The woman is for who? For the man. The woman was created for the man. You understand? Well, what does that mean? First story, jump up. Jump up in the chapter, verse 3, come on. Verse 3, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The Bible says that the head of every man is who? Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. The black Messiah. That's right. That's the head of the man. That's who I'm going to submit to. I'm not going to disrespect my woman. You understand? I'm not going to dishonor her. That's right. I'm not going to not be a father to the child I produce with That's her right. because Christ does not teach that. That's and right. I got to submit to Jesus the Christ, thus saith the Lord. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that, right? But what about the woman? The black woman. What about her? Who she needs to listen to? The Bible's going to tell you. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. What does the Bible say? The head of the woman is the man. So not only was she created for the man, but her head is also who? The man. That's her head. So who does she need to bow down her neck to? Who does she need to submit to? Who does she need to listen to? Who does she need to go to for guidance? Who does she need to go to for instruction? Who does she need to go to to be protected? That's right? Enough. Who does she need to go to for these things? Right? right? The man. Not a nigga because a nigga not going to do those things. That's right. But our sisters are opening up their legs to niggas out here. Right? right? A real man ain't going to do that. That's right. A real man ain't going to have a girlfriend. That's right. A real man ain't going to have no girlfriend. The Bible don't teach about girlfriends. The Bible teach about a man marrying a woman. That's, That's what right. I speak about. So no, a woman shouldn't submit to a nigga, but she should submit. She shall submit submit to a man of God. That's that right. gotta happen. Jeez. That's it. That's what she was created to do. She was created. To, but you know what? Y'all saw just right here. The black women don't want to do that. Y'all know that. We ain't speaking no evil against our women. We trying to teach you how to get the power of the Bible by closing your legs, not laying down with any nigga. That's what we trying to show you. You understand? Because a nigga not gonna take care of your baby. That's not gonna happen. A nigga's gonna do what he wanna do for himself. He not thinking about his nation. That's not. And, and so the woman gotta change that. She gotta change that. We gonna empower you today. All right? Where you at? First Corinthians chapter eleven. Titus chapter two now. All right? That's where we were. Uh, start at verse, I think it was verse 4, 3 and 4. Read that. We're trying to talk about the aged woman now. These are the things that the aged woman should know. Come on. This is the book of Titus chapter 2, verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine. So our aged woman can't be a drunk, right? Neither should our man be drunk. Right. Come on. Teachers of good things. But they got to learn how to teach good things. Right? Good things. What type of good things 
should a should a should a should a uh, a 13 year old woman be learning from her mother? Should it be how to shake her behind? Should it be how to twerk? Should she be learning how to how to uh, uh, how to run game on different men? Should she be learning how to do that? How to use them to get what she want? Is that what a 13 year old daughter should be learning from her mama? No. Come on. That they may teach the young women. That they may what? That they may teach the young women to be sober. So the aged woman gotta teach the young woman to do what? To be sober. To be sober minded. Come on. To love. Their oh, to do what? To love. That means a little girl that's 13 years old gotta learn how to love from who? Her mama. Right. But her mama hate everybody today. But her even herself. Her mama hate herself today. But the little girl supposed to be learning how to love from her mama. How she gonna do that if her mama hate herself? You know how the black woman shows that she hates herself today? <coughs> Who knows? Who knows how the black woman shows today how she hates herself? All right? I'm gonna tell you one easy way you can know. If a black woman changes her hair, all right, from the natural woolly hair that the Lord gave her that's more beautiful than any other body's hair on the earth. That's right. right. Did she make that hair straight? Did she put a perm in it? You understand? Did she color her hair yellow? She make it blind? What's she teaching her little baby? What's she teaching her little baby? She teaching her little baby that maybe God made a mistake. Maybe God should not have given me this woolly hair that I got. Maybe that other yellow stringy, wet dog smelling hair is better than mine. You understand? That's what we teaching our little babies today. Right. You understand? That's what we teaching them when we perm our hair, then we, we go in the shop right here, and we buy all, you, you think, you think they hair is like yours, the people that selling you this garbage? Oh. No. No, it's, it's not. But we running into their stores, all right, to envy all of our oppressors that put us into this slavery that you see right here. This this slavery that you see right here. That's what we're doing. The same people that, 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 that came together and made this slavery happen right here, right? We go right to their stores and we give them all of our money today and we teach our children, all right, that we hate ourselves and that everybody else is better than how God created us. That's not teaching your daughter how to love. That's not teaching her that. Read that part again. Come on. To love their husbands. To love their children. Wait, it said to love their husbands. How a woman gonna teach her daughter how to love a husband that she should have when she becomes of age if her mama can't submit to a man? Right. How's that gonna happen? Where's she gonna learn how to love a husband? Now you see the problem with our women today, I'm talking about the older generation, is that most of their mothers couldn't do that either. All right, it's not, I won't say it's, it's your fault, all right? But you have to recognize that there was fault and change. Do something different. That's why we said you got to be born again. You got to be born again. Yes, okay. Maybe you didn't grow up in a household where your mother was in submission to your father. All right? Maybe you didn't grow up with a father at all, right? Or maybe the uh, the, the father that you, the mother uh, that you grew up under was disrespectful to your father. Well, you have to acknowledge that your mother messed up. She was wrong. All right? She wasn't right. All right? She was not right. She wasn't perfect. Even though that's your mama, you got to recognize that what she did was destructive to you and all your brothers and sisters. You got to recognize that. You got to acknowledge that you're going to do something different, right? And guess what? Your children are going to have to do the same thing if you follow in that evil example. That's They're going right. to have to do the same exact thing. Why? So that these women can learn how to teach their children to love. That's the only way that they'll learn. It got to be a sacrifice, man. And it starts with who? It starts with the black woman if we talking about these kids because they dealing with the children while the men is going out and making sure that you provided for and protect we used to scream black power while heroin was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. 
the scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.